he's always there in all these open events. They're both doing amazing. I cannot wait to see these, like you call them, ju titans, juggernauts wreck this workout. Jason Kalipa sporting the CrossFit Magnum shirt. That's Rich Froning's gym. Rich Froning sporting the CrossFit NorCal shirt. That's Jason Kalipa's gym. In fact, Froning and his wife stayed at Kalipa's house when they came out here. And Jason said, you know what? I'm sure he's going to have me working out the whole time. <laughs> Maybe he gave him some bad milk or something. Bad peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Now, they were 3.30 to get that first 90. 
They've just knocked out 15 reps so far, and we're already past that four minute mark. So it's gonna be, they're gonna be cutting it really close if they make it or not. Both of these guys, when they did 12 6 last time, Rich had, uh, Rich had 161 reps, which didn't get him into that 180. Of course, that was a seven minute, so we had an extra minute, but that pacing, it's gonna be really interesting. And then the same thing with, uh, with Jason, he was 159. It's gonna be close. How much are they gonna have to get to that last minute? This throwing is no stranger to this kind of atmosphere. Every time the guy works out, people are watching him. He's very much proud of where he goes. In fact, last year, he demoed that 12 45 workout. He did it head to head with Dan Bailey across the Vallejo in Texas. Drew a crowd there, kind of the precursor to that what we're seeing here. He knows what it's like to, to, to put on a show in front of a lot of people like this. I mean, that's what he does. He is a specimen of CrossFit. Everywhere he goes, he's got a million eyes on him watching just to see what crazy stuff he's going to do. More than five minutes in, and both these athletes still going rep for rep. They're facing each other here, so they can kind of see what the other guy's doing, pick their spots. I'm sure neither one wants to fall too far behind to be the wrong guys of aid. And Samantha Briggs looking on, and now they can laugh about this because they're watching someone else do it. <laughs> You know, once I want you to see with Jake right now, his form is starting to break down even on the thrusters. You can actually see him start to come up on his toes a little bit. He's trying to muscle that weight. Both these guys can move his weight, no problem. They're not being efficient, but he's getting tired now. That form is starting to break down, and efficiency is the key with this one. You don't want to just waste energy. It's not, not in this relation of ugly looking spram. Throwing in on the bar. Approaching 140 reps, Jason Kalipa still looking pretty good on those chest of our board, and they are still rep for rep at the six minute mark. They need 180 or more repetitions before that eight minute mark hits to extend this workout into a 12 minute AM rep. And let me tell you something, when you see Jason Kalipa this tired, you know that this is a potent combination of movement. I'm really not looking forward to doing this when I have to do this anymore. <laughs> uh, when I was watching the girls, it didn't look as bad because they got so much further. But these guys, I know what kind of athletes these are, and it looks so painful right now. We have 30 reps to go in a minute and a half. The pace they're going, I, I just don't know if they're going to make it into that that, that next that next set of time frame. We're approaching the seven minute mark here at a jam packed Santa Cruz Civic Auditorium. The two time defending champion, Rich Froning from Cookville, Tennessee, is on your right. Jason Kalipa. From CrossFit NorCal is on your left. He is the 2008 champion. The workout, 13.5. There was an audible groan from every person in this auditorium when it was announced. 15 thrusters at 100 pounds, 15 chest to bar pulls. Two terrible movements when you put them together. And we are now past the seven minute mark. Throwing slightly ahead of Jason Kalipa with 163 reps and counting. We got 45 seconds right now. I, I just don't think they're gonna make it. I don't know if they're gonna be able to make it through with 30 seconds left. It's gonna be interesting to see. Again, this is how much pain are you gonna be able to take? You know what's gonna hurt you. Fight your way into that next round, so you just have to take the rest of the four minutes suck after that. What are you gonna do with that, you know? Rich Froning at 170, he has 20 seconds. He's looking at the clock, trying to pace himself. He's off the bar. He needs seven more reps in 15 seconds. Jason Kalipa, he is on the bar. 166 for him. Kalipa looks like he's out again. Froning still moving. Nine seconds to go. Now eight. We're down to seven. Froning with three reps. Two to go. Rich Froning off the bar. Does... Oh, he does not oh. get it. Did he get it? He did get oh, it. Then he did it. did get it. 12 minute time. The two time defending champ. Four more minutes of pain. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Race to the end there. Throw it all out on the floor. And then you have to keep on going. You don't get to rip. That's not the finish line. And let's give you another four minutes of friend. How about it? No, thank you. Jason Khalifa in the center of your screen. Just sucking in. And Rich Froning now looking fatigued. The only other time I've seen Rich Froning with this fatigue was in that rope sled event. That's the only other time I've seen it look like this. You know, he actually stopped and had some words for Dave Castro right there. I was kind of wondering what he was saying. Even though he's a, he's a real spiritual guy, I thought it was a little evil. Like, hey man, what's the deal here? What are you trying to do to us? Rich Froning, not one who is uh, used to using profanity, but I would not be surprised if some came out there. Froning at 190 reps. He has to get to 270 or more before the 12-minute time gap to make it a 16-minute AMRAP.
lap. Jason Kalipa is finally on his feet and still looking extremely gassed. Jason is crushed right now. He is physically crushed. You know he works out a lot. His volume is high. He's, he, the, the amount of workouts that he does is amazing. And what, what this workout just did to him, it, like I said, it is making me extremely nervous. But then Ritz, the fact that he's able to just keep on going. This is that mental toughness that we were talking about earlier with the girls. How strong are you mentally? How much, how comfortable are you with being in the uncomfortable? If you, how much pain can you take? And that right there is exactly what's happening. Rich is a testament to being so mentally strong. And at a young age, that is impressive. The different thing about the Open is that these athletes can do these workouts more than once before 5 p.m. Pacific this Sunday. Jason Khalifa will most likely do it again. He has done a couple of the workouts so far in the Open over. In fact, he did last week's workout over and ended up winning the whole thing. Rich Froning is off the bar. Khalifa into offering some encouragement. We're past 10 minutes and Froning is over the 200 rep mark. I really don't know if there will be a whole lot of people redoing this workout if they get into that 8 minute. Well, now 12 minutes for these guys. So we have a minute 30 left and Rich is spent. He now, I mean, now it's just a matter of how many reps are you going to get. He's not really racing anymore. It's just trying to get a couple more reps. You can see how long his reps are in between. He is shot. And the fact that he's still stringing multiple chest of all points together, that is unreal. That unreal. This guy can still do that. Unreal. Well, like I said, 75 pull-ups in one shot is max. It's impressive. Throwing back to the barbell. 15 more thrusters. Usually when athletes do plan, it's only 95 pounds. Now you have 100 pounds. Doesn't seem like a big difference, but that adds up. It adds up, especially when you keep going up in this time frame. If it was just four minutes, 100 pounds would be pretty negligible, especially with the size of these guys. But when you are jumping into 12 minutes of Fran type work, it is terrible. That five pounds is going to add up. Nearly 30 seconds to go now for Ritz Brody. You see him spare a look at the clock. He knows right where he is. 220 reps down for Ritz Brody. And he will close out his workout in about 20 seconds. Kalipa telling him to get back on the bar. Remember, every rep count. I have never seen Ritz Brody rest this long ever. Hey, Ritz, why don't you get back on the bar? Hey, Ritz, sure. why don't you get back on the bar? <laughs> it's easy for you to say, Kalipa, you're done. Nine seconds ago for Ritz Brody. The two-time defending Crosby game champion. He's going to get back to the bar in two seconds. One second. Brody with one additional test of our clock. 226 repetitions for Rich Brody in 13.5. How about that? Jason Khalifa, who went up against him, managed 169. An extremely impressive number, but Rich Brody setting the early bar here. Absolutely amazing. We Going into this event, we were really unsure how many of these athletes, the four athletes, which are all amazing athletes, how many would actually get into that third time frame. The fact that we got two that went that deep, it, it just, it's absolutely mind-blowing. And the fact that Froning is still coherent right now is unbelievable. A lot of people will get through four minutes of this workout and will be non-communicative for about 20 minutes. I will be one of them.